come down the front straightaway the next to last time. White flag for Ward Burton. He just had to run a good clean lap there and don't get tied up behind the slow car. He looks like he might have this thing wrapped up. Back straightaway past the very Bostic car. Mark Martin closing in. Martin will have to deal with that lap car. And now coming off turn number four to the checkered flag, his first career victory, Ward Burton of South Boston, Virginia. Picks up his first win in his 54th Bush Grand National start. And that should put him atop the Bush Series point standings by five points ahead of Dale Earnhardt. Boy, Mike, it's nice to see him win a race. I don't think I've ever seen a driver as dejected as he was in Charlotte when he ran no. that field. No. You want to talk about a happy fellow, I want to see his face when he gets out of this car because he shows his emotions. We had to talk to him at Charlotte after he fell out, after he ran out of gas. They made the decision to try to run him dry or run to the checker, and they did. Look at Mark Martin, who drove a fine race to finish second. But as Ward said that day, Ward Burton with a long jump on the field. White flag for the young driver from South Boston, Virginia. 33 years old in the MBNA Pontiac. Rusty Wallace in second. Earnhardt and Sterling Marlin got together in turn two. They're okay. Off turn four. For Bill and Gail Davis, for Chris Hussey, that MBNA Pontiac team, Ward Burton scores his first Winston Cup win. And out of turn four, Darrell Waltrip gets hard into the wall and the rest of the field gets by. He made contact perhaps with Jeff Gordon. What a wild finish to a day that Dick Bergeron started out saying had been bizarre so far. And it ended on the same note. Wow. DW looks like he's okay he's moving around in the car. Oh, and Darrell had a great race going. He was up in the top six. Gordon comes around three laps down. He finishes, holds the point lead, and Glenn Jarrett with Bill Davis.